Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today I'm going to do a guide and gameplay to the new campaign ship. This is the Tier 7 Japanese cruiser, the Sasuya. Now, with this guide and gameplay, I'm going to be looking at the stats, the consumables, the uh, premium upgrade slots, the armor viewer, and then I'm also going to look at the commander of choice I have for this ship. And then we'll take this ship out into a standard match and see how it performs. All right, so first off we have here, this is a Sasuya in its uh, camel. I think the camel looks really nice. You notice it doesn't have the green that you normally see on the uh, Japanese ships. This has got the, uh, the grayish and the uh, uh, dark grays and, and the light grays on here. But um, I think it's a really nice looking cruiser. I think this is going to be a very, very good addition to the game. And I've played it a few times already, and I quite like this ship. This is a really, really good cruiser. Has a lot of guns on here. You're looking at 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 15 guns. Three forward, three forward turrets, and two triple turrets in the rear. It's got a plane as well. So let's have a look at the ship itself now, shall we? Now, the first thing we're going to look at here is we'll look at the premium upgrade slots. Now, because she's a tier seven, the Sasuya here has four premium upgrade slots. Now, because the game now has carriers in here officially, there's gonna be new additions to a number of these uh, upgrade slots that, were, that, <laughs> that we didn't have in the past. So the first one here is, normally we would have aiming system, secondary battery, main battery mod, but now we also have the double A gun mod. And because I want my Sasuya to be a very good AA cruiser against the uh, carrier aircraft, I am going to be choosing the AA gun mod, giving me a plus 20% to the firing range of my guns. Now, if I did, I would also consider taking aiming systems for that better dispersion of your battery. But I'm finding that the guns on here are pretty naturally accurate. You're going to find out when you, the guns feel really good to trigger. We also got secondary battery. I don't think everyone would use that. And main battery, which you might want to get an increased uh, traverse speed, but you'll take a slight hit to your reload time. But I'm going with this one in this build here. Okay, now for the second slot here, we've got available modifications for spot two, which is normal. We got our steering gear. We have damage control, propulsion mod. I think most people are going to be choosing uh, probably steering gear mod number two. Because I can see a lot of people kiting with this ship, especially since the torpedoes are geared that way, because they're kind of angled towards the rear. Or you might go propulsion mod me. I like having that better um, up and go acceleration, 50%. It really, it's 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 my play style. So I'm going with this one here. Now for this one here, uh, we've got steering gear mod three for those who really want to have a really better steering uh, rudder and stuff like that. I was just taking steering gear mod three and two. We also got target acquisition, but now we've got this concealment mod here. I am definitely taking this because I want this ship some better concealment. I think this is very viable. And for the last mod, because we're tier 7, is we have here four slots to choose from. Big choices you have to go through here. Gunfire control system. Uh, 3 million credits. This increases the range of your guns by another 5%. Main battery number 3. I think this one kind of is really not useful. Because you're going to take a... They kind of balance each other out. Your reload time and your traverse speed. You, so I, I never really choose this one. Especially now that we now have... Because I want an AA cruiser out of this. So I'm going to be going with the AA gun mod 3. Giving me an average AA damage increase of plus 25%. You can really shred those carrier aircraft with these guns. You might want to go with the torpedo launcher, though, because we do have 11 kilometer torpedoes on here. So this will be a tough choice for anybody. It all depends what kind of build you want to make. I'm going for AA build, so I'm taking this. It was pretty easy for me here. All right, that is a premium upgrade slots. Now let's have a look at the stats for this ship. Survivability, 38,000 hull points with, uh, well, you got some armor on there. And uh, surprisingly, it's got a torpedo uh, damage reduction belt of 10%. Now, here's where the, this ship is going to shine. Main battery. These are those beautiful 155 milli, uh, millimeter guns. You've got five triple turrets for 15 guns. 
with a firing range right now, the person I have on here, 16.8 kilometers, which I think is quite effective. A reload time of 9.5 seconds. I think the base was 10, so it reduced a little bit there. My turret turn, 25.7 seconds. Eh, that's too shit, not too shabby. My HE shell damage, right now it's at 9, 19%. That's because I have a toggle on here. The base, I believe, is just 10%, but I really increased that significantly with a toggle. With our HE shells doing 2,900 damage, AP shells do 3,500 damage. We do have secondary armament on here, though. We do have four dual 127s with a 5K uh, range, 5-second reload. All right, now let's move on here. Torpedoes. Now, the ship can stay concealed while you launch torpedoes if you so choose to do that. You've got four quadruple 610 tubes. That is nice, which means you can launch eight of these torpedoes off per side, which is really, really good. The reload time is pretty good, 109 seconds. Our turret turns at 7.2 with a maximum yield damage of 17,000. Yep, that is definitely those Japanese torpedoes, big yields. Torpedo detectability is 1.5. They can see these pretty uh, early. Torpedo range, a nice 11 kilometers. However, that speed is to only 56 knots. It's only 5 kilometers faster than those dreaded slow Italian torpedoes. However, you can, if you decide to focus on some sort of torpedo build with your uh, with your um, Sasoyu, that's up to you. You could probably get that speed up to over 60. AA defense. This is our new stat that we're going to be seeing a lot on here with all our ships now. Uh, the AA guns we have on here, we have uh, 13 millimeter type 93s. There are two dual 13 millimeter guns, okay? And we've also got four dual 25 millimeter guns on here. And we've also got four dual 127 millimeter guns. All of those doing uh, AA damage to the aircraft. So they're going to come in real handy. There's a lot of guns on the Sosoyu, which is really nice. Maneuverability. The ship has a pretty good speed at 37.8 knots. Turning circle, 750. Rudder shift is pretty good at 5.6. Concealment-wise, we've got this ship down to 10.6 kilometers. And that's by sea, by air, we're at 6.6 .6 kilometers. So pretty darn good. All right, let's look at the armor. Well, like any real cruise, you got a lot of green on here. So we're sitting with uh, a lot of 25 to 26 millimeter armor throughout the uh, hull in that. Mind you, you can see there that it's got some uh, some armor belt protection along the belt there. And I believe that belt is going to be, um, uh, looks like about 100 mils, which is pretty good. So either way, um, if you get hit a lot, you're going to get sunk. You know, you're a cruiser and uh, you want to use your speed to your advantage and your nimbleness. So it's got good maneuverability. Beautiful ship though. Man, it even looks good in the armor viewer. Overview of the ship. We have three positives here. Guns aplenty. We talked about that. There's a high number of guns allows for a lot of damage from a single salvo. And you'll be able to see that probably in a, in a match I'll do. It's got superior HE damage. Above average HE shell damage. And another reason why I want to have a toggle on here. Or you want a commander that's got HE capabilities. And she's agile. Above average ability to change direction. That's, that's your beautiful maneuverability. Now, it says here, Soyu was built as a light cruiser. Her armor and equipment were on par with heavy cruisers, despite her being of a smaller size and displacement. The number of 155mm main caliber guns was increased to 15 to compensate for the lower mass of the shells, in comparison with the 203mm main caliber guns of the Washington Naval Treaty cruisers. Entered service in 1937, four ships of this series were built. All right, let's move out of here. Now let's just have a quick look at the consumables. Uh, your shells, your AP, your torps, we talked about all that. You've got your base damage control party. You've got sonar on here, which is really nice to have. We got two of them. And uh, it's basically standard, you know, 4.4 kilometer detection of ships, 3.1 kilometer detection of torpedoes. Now on board, we have a catapult fighter. We have three of these. This is nice because, like I mentioned, we have carrier aircraft in the game now. And this fighter does shoot down those carrier aircraft, which is nice. And we've got two repair parties on here, giving me, a hundred, giving me 228 in healing per second. So that's uh, nice to have as well. 
we've got our uh, we got a booster on here. We got our camo on here. And we put the uh, uh, Sakura Nation flag on here. Like doesn't really matter. I don't have a flag with this one, so I just put whatever I want on here. All right, let's pop out of here. Now, commanders of choice here. We could bring this up, commanders. Now, you might want to use a lot of people. I could see be they'll be using Yamamoto uh, because he's one of your standard uh, cruiser commanders for um, for the Japanese fleet. And I'm sure other people will end up using um, other cruiser, like uh, some people might use uh, Makawa on here because of his great concealment. Who knows? Um, it's up to you. But for me, I'm going to make use of Atago, the Azure Lane Commander on here, because I want her fire capabilities, which is arsonist. So let's, see, let's have a look how I have her set up. She's set up exactly how I have her set up for the Atago ship that, she, that she's the namesake uh, of. So if we go in to look at her, um, initially, I have Mueller on here because I want more speed on my cruisers. So I got 4% extra speed there, and I've got 2.4% extra speed from Fraser, giving me 6.4 extra, ex, extra speed plus a 3% from my booster. Gives me almost 10% additional speed to my ship. And I like having those three extra knots. I think it does make a difference for me. Now, we've got the... Uh, Torpedo um, Stealth, and if you're going to make use of your torpedoes, it's nice to have, I guess. Now, uh, for the first thing here, we got the range. We want 10% extra range. On this one here, we're choosing her special skill, Arsonist, which gives us the increased fire chance by plus 8%, and we get increased uh, shell damage to our HE shells by plus 10%, taking some extra damage when we get hit. That's if we get hit. We got Punch Through if we're going to be using our AP shells, which is nice to have. And for the last one down here, we're taking extra shell grouping and great and better dispersion. And for our legendary skill, we're going with the refill station. Of course, I have this running right now. I will be trying Yamamoto and uh, Makawa on here as well. But for now, I'm running this with Otago. All right, so let's pack back out of here. She's on board the ship right now. Now, um, please stick around because I will take this ship out into a standard match and we will see how it performs. All right, well, thank you for sticking around to watch this match with the Sisuyu. Now, this is going to be in the Haven, and this is pre-recorded. I'm simply doing the audio over top of it. Also, do note, this is no spectacular match. This is an average match that you can expect to have when you play the Sisuya. Now, like I said, it's a very fun ship. I think this may well have been my third or fourth match in. This was during my one of my live streams. I'm in a division right now. I've got a couple of buddies with me. I believe one is Killer Monkey. And top of my head, I forget what the other one is. Let's have a look here. It is um, Eternal Abyss. And Eternal Abyss is uh, playing in the Shokaku, the uh, Tier 7 Carrier. I am in the uh, Sosoyu. And my division buddy, uh, Killer Monkey, is in the Mogami, the sister ship. Okay, here we go. Now, we've spawned uh, together pretty much on the uh, southwestern side here. So my initial focus here is going to be on the uh, the west here. And I was checking out my range here, and I was looking at some of my stats because I really don't know the ship well yet. But I'm telling you, I have this ship for the week as a CC, and I'm going to play the heck out of it because, boy, this thing is fun. I probably will end up even buying out the campaign because I'm enjoying this ship that much. Okay, so we're going to first fire on a King George here, and... Like I, like I told you earlier in the in the actual guide part, is um, the guns have a really good feel. When you press those triggers, they go out like rail guns. And we already got our first fire there. Because we do have a 19% chance of starting fires at the moment because I have a Tago on here. If you're not using a Tago, your base starting uh, for fires is 10%. Now we're firing on the Bismarck now. And we're catching them behind the island there. And we have, like, I believe it was a 9.5 second reload on here, which is really kind of good. And I don't know why, but the Bismarck is going to keep sitting there. And so we're going to keep uh, smacking the things on. You can see flax going up in the air right now. We're, we're attacking the, um, the enemy carrier's aircraft around here. And there is the Akasuki. This is a good uh, test. Um, see if we can hit him. Now, we're going to miss him there because he went to stop while he was going in. Now... I'm assuming he's going to be right about there. So we're going to take the uh, Hail Mary shot there. We'll see if we can get a hit on him. And sure enough, we do. We get a couple of penetrations in. We want to take another shot here. Maybe he backed up a little further. 
And we got our rear turrets on them, but that's about it. When you got 15 155s on here, that's three turrets forward and two turrets rear. Six in the rear, 12 guns. I mean, you have nine guns forward, six guns in the rear. That's really nice. All right. Now, once again, we're going to go back and take some more shots at the uh, Bismarck. We got some more penetrations there. We'll get a lot of penetrations with these guns that we have it set up. Now, this time going in, we're going to probably get some fires. Yep, there's a fire. I don't think you can put that fire out. Yeah, it's, it's eating away right now because I think you put the other fire out I gave them. We have some more incoming again. And we're going to keep them going. We have, uh, only thing I have to worry about right now is because we're stationary, is any potential uh, aircraft coming in like a torpedo bomber. But you get that uh, warning uh, sign. You get that little red aircraft on top of your ship if you have enemy aircraft that's close by. Okay, there's the Akasuki again. So we're going to switch our focus now. And we're going to prop... Oh, we just lost sight of the Akasuki. But usually when I see a destroyer and I have a chance of taking hitting it, I'll go for it. But right now we're really, really working our way on the Bismarck here. Basically all our damage has been to the Bismarck. We've done like almost 50,000 damage to the Bismarck here. Now they're fire. You won't be able to put that one out either, I, I'm thinking. And here comes the Akasuki torpedoes. Because we have the sonar running, we saw those torpedoes coming from miles away. So we're just going to move forward slowly here. We're going to let that Bismarck burn. And we're going to take some shells into the uh, into the Akasuki here. And there goes the Bismarck. Arsonist metal we got for that. And we destroyed the Bismarck basically with um, the fire capabilities of the, uh, the Susuya here. Okay, we completely missed the Akasuki there. Now we're going to take another shot because I think he's going to probably just kind of pilot right into those. We'll see if we hit them if they come up on the screen as we look for the other targets. Sure enough, we got like four or five penetrations on the Akasuki there. That's a really good hit. Unfortunately, no fire. Now we're going to take a shot in the uh, Sinop there, who is behind the island. Look at that. Hit the Sinop with lots of guns. See, these guns are great. Yeah, like I don't usually buy out the campaigns on the campaign ships. Um, I will usually uh, play till about maybe the final two weeks or the final week. And then I would buy the rest of it out. But uh, as of starting in the first week and buying it right out, well, I'll wait till I have, to, uh, I'll probably wait till next Monday and I'll make that decision whether I'm going to buy this ship completely out or not. And uh, I'm not going to be, sp like, I probably, I probably will. Okay, now, we're going to take some more shots on this Synop here. That's the goal. My other thought in my head go going here was the fact I might use my torpedoes here as well. I do have 11 kilometers. And then the uh, torpedoes from our torpedo boat killed it. Okay, so now uh, we've basically got control of this match. Uh, they've lost five of their ships, which includes a destroyer. We've lost only two ships with no destroyer losses. I like our chances of winning this match here. So we're still making use of these islands. We're going to ship up the speed a little bit here. We're going to start firing on this, uh, oh, this, that ship there. The Alba, the, uh, the, uh, the British heavy cruiser, the Albalon. Be my first action against a, an Albemarle with a uh, Susuyu. We're going to go around the point here. And we're going to see what we can see. There's the sinking setup. Now, so far, we've gotten... Uh, we're sitting around 71,000. And most of that is fire damage. Here comes a single torpedo from that uh, British uh, heavy cruiser. So, uh, in this... Like, this is my third match and with this ship. And it's doing well. And our uh, carrier guy, our carrier buddy here, Eternal Abyss. There's a big shout-out for you, Eternal. Um, he's doing a great job in the Shukaku, uh, Shukaku which is a really good-looking uh, carrier. I have that carrier. I wouldn't use my Global XP to get it. I'll probably do a guiding gameplay in the next few days. And also, uh, Killer Monkey is doing a great job in his Mogami as well. You can see our division is still alive here. We're really working it. <laughs> so, I think the uh, reload on these 155s is, uh, is really good. Yeah, I'd love to be able to take this ship up against Cleveland's. 
in which in which it does this, this would be a good match for them. We're gonna take another shot here, and now the Albert Mulder Spears. Now I just realized we have another destroyer off to the right, and we got a Trapit sitting over there. So I'm really worried about the Trapits because uh, those guns can basically wipe me out. So I have to be very careful here. And I was uh, thinking uh, I wasn't going to fire on that Trapitz yet because I didn't want him to see me yet. Because I am concealed. I do have a 10.8 kilometer concealment, I believe, with my concealment mod on here. Now, I just got spotted by the aircraft, so now I might as well just start taking shots. Once again, we're going to focus on the Albemarle here. We're going to take a shot on it. This British Heavy. And see the aircraft? That's a little uh, red aircraft signal. We're being targeted. Or there's something close by, I should say. So we're going to start maneuvering our ship a little bit here. We've already shot down an enemy aircraft there. And there goes another aircraft down. And we shot another aircraft down. So we're getting a lot of aircraft from the enemy carrier uh, shot down here. I think this uh, Susuyu is a really good anti-air cruiser as well. I'm glad I went with this kind of a build. Now, whether I'm going to keep Atago as the uh, primary commander for my Susuyu, I don't know. I'm going to be giving this uh, um, ship a try with Yamamoto, as well as um, Makawa. and see how it handles with them. And now we're going to take another shot on that. Let's see if we can get him here. We're going to back her up a bit, too. And there it goes. It blew up. We didn't kill it, but we certainly did assist in that. Now we're sitting at 87,000. Oh, and I realize there's torpedoes coming at me from the rear. So I'm backing it up right now. And just do a uh, dodge here, a backup dodge. That's a maneuverability. Really nice. And we were able to successfully dodge those torps from the Akasuki. One torp would not have sunk us, but it certainly would have hurt us. Now we're going to focus on that torpedoes. And we got another, more enemy aircraft shot down there. We got a whole whack of them shot down there. Yeah, this the flak and all that stuff going up. There's the uh, torpedo bombers right there. Just trying to keep it. What I what what I want to see is us have the ability. You know, when you're in your ship and you're in your, uh, you can't really look up too far. I want the ability to be able to look up a lot further, like directly up. That's what I would like to be able to do. Okay, so we're gonna take some more shots on the torpedoes here. Get some more shots in here. Yeah, every 9.5 seconds we let these guns go. I got nine guns forward, so I don't have to uh, go into a uh, broadside here. Firing these nine HE guns forward is nice. It'd be nice if I could throw the other six on it, but I just don't want to get uh, deleted by the torpits in one shell, in one salvo. Torpits, uh, it's been dive bomb there. Let's see if he hits. If he hits. Couldn't really tell there. Now, see, I just took a big hit from the trapits there. There's a lot of flat going up there, eh? As it's trying to shoot down the our uh, Eternals uh, carrier aircraft there. We're just gonna keep weaving. We got two uh, two ships left: the carrier and this uh, trapits. Now we've got that trapits on fire, I believe. I think it's our fire that's on there. Nope, it wasn't our fire. Our shells took it out. So that's our second sinking there, I think. And we have 93,000. Now we're going to start targeting the carrier. And I'm sure those carrier aircraft are going to come after me because I think I'm the closest ship. Yeah, we got a hit in the carrier there with a fire and, a no and pretty much all penetrations. Okay, here's a dive bomber just sitting over there going back on the craft. There's torpedo bombers off to my left. And I can see our Shikuku uh, carrier aircraft with its uh, fighter patrol is up there as well. Yep, our, there's, a, there's our uh, a Sosilio firing on the torpedo bomber. It's trying to get its torps in the water. Its torps are in the water now. Here they come. We're going to attempt the dodge here. We're going to take a torp hit. Nope, we did. We didn't take the torpedo. We were able to dodge that. 
the beauty of the uh, maneuverability of this ship. We're going to take some more shots on that carrier here as it's moving forward now. If we can get any close enough, we'll put torps into it. It's got pretty good concealment, that carrier. And we shot down some more aircraft there. So we got we shot down a lot of aircraft in this uh, session. We're at 102,000, so we broke the 100,000 marker. And we're being, and you can see there's uh, enemy aircraft close by here. Ah, uh, look at that. We took an HE direct hit <laughs> from the uh, dive bomber there. Really nice. That's kind of nice pyro pyrotechnics there. Well, there you have it. That was a that was a lot of fun. The Sosoyu is a really, really good ship. Completely recommend it. I think people are going to love this ship when the campaign's over. And uh, But then again, that's just my opinion. Hopefully, um, this will help you make a decision whether what you want to do with that ship. Grind for the campaign. Get it out early. It's going to be your choice, right? Okay, so 104,000, 375,000 in credits. We came uh, number one there with the two sinkings, 2,600 in uh, base XP. A uh, really good match. It's a good standard average match. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, then uh, please give me a like. I'd appreciate that because it really does help the al algorithm. And, of course, this is Spotted Gamer. And uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the seas next time.